If you're considering an enjoyable week in Switzerland but have no idea about where to start, then this video is perfect for you. With our 7-day Switzerland itinerary, we've got you covered. Switzerland is home to snow-capped mountains, radiant lakes and lovely villages. In this video, we'll discuss how you can maximize your time in this beautiful place. But before we start, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Day 1 – Schurich Start your exciting 7-day journey in Switzerland with a trip to the vibrant and international city of Zurich. While sailing on one of the two historic paddle steamers, Start Zurich or Start Rapperswil, across the crystal clear waters of Lake Zurich, take in the breathtaking views of the city's waterfront. These antique ships, which were built in 1909 and 1914 respectively, offer a wonderful, quick and safe way to get around the city's top attractions. Set up on the lake, then go for a relaxing walk in the neighborhood. Enjoy Bahnhofstrasse's luxury shopping district, known for its luxurious stores and premium goods. Have a delicious meal while admiring the spectacular views at the Jules Verne Panorama Bar. Make use of Zurich's many outdoor bathing locations, such as the well-known Seabad Anger on the lake, or the Obere and Untere Letten Riverside Zones, if the weather is warm. After a revitalizing swim, visit the trendy and dynamic Zurich West neighborhood. This thriving area is home to a wide range of fashionable restaurants, galleries, ateliers, and live music venues. Experience the distinctive combination of old-world charm and modern flair by immersing yourself in the creative spirit of the region. Your spectacular week in Switzerland promises to be filled with a ton of things to see and do. With so much to see and do, your epic week in Switzerland promises to be a voyage full of breathtaking panoramas, cultural exchanges, and unique experiences. Day 2 – Lucerne Today, get an early start and board the train to Lucerne from Zurich, which will take you on a lovely 55-minute ride. You'll be welcomed by the magnificent landscapes that serve as the starting point of your experience as soon as you arrive at Lucerne Station. So, be prepared to be captivated by the natural splendor of Switzerland by going on some gorgeous hikes or cable car excursions. Your breath will be taken away by the views of the majestic peaks and stunning valleys. After you've settled into your lodge, going to one of the neighboring mountains would be perfect. Both Mount Pilatus and Rigi are fantastic choices, providing cable cars or cog railroads for people who want to relax. While Rigi offers a terrific day out that may begin with a boat journey before switching to the cog train or climbing it in just over three hours, Mount Pilatus offers a range of hiking options that can take up to two hours to climb. The cog trains offer a truly Swiss experience with an intriguing history, even if you are an enthusiastic hiker. After arriving back in Lucerne in the evening, take an enjoyable walk through the city and take in the welcoming environment. There are several dining alternatives near Lake Lucerne, from laid-back cafes to fancy cafes. Day 3 – Interlaken Interlaken is about a 30-minute rail journey from Lucerne. To make the most of your time here, take another early start, and here you've got two fantastic day choices. Interlaken is a great location to rent bikes and go cycling around Lake Brines if you need a break from the mountains. The journey around the lake might take up to three hours, but it's worth it because of the majestic mountains and shimmering waters. But go directly to the Niederhorn if you're a mountain fanatic who can't get enough of the breathtaking peaks. In order to reach the spectacular top in the Emmental Alps, start by going to the charming town of Bietenberg and use a cable car to get there. Dedicated hikers will be delighted to find the various paths at the peak, which provide stunning views of Lake Thun and the whole Bernese Alps. You'll undoubtedly be mesmerized and in awe of nature's majesty by the landscape's pure glory. Whatever you decide to do in Interlaken, you're sure to have a great time. This town is an adventurer's dream, with tons of things to do and breathtaking natural beauty to discover. Days 4 and 5 – Zermatt First Day now be ready for new and thrilling adventures on your first day in Zermatt. One of Europe's tallest open-air cog trains, the Gornograt Railway is a great place to start your day. It takes 33 beautiful minutes to reach the summit station, where you'll be rewarded with a 360-degree panorama of 29 peaks higher than 4,000 meters, including the magnificent Matterhorn. There are tons of hiking routes to discover as well, including the well-known Oat route, which takes around two weeks to complete. Zermatt also offers paragliding for those looking for an activity with a higher level of excitement. Fly across the mountains and enjoy the stunning views as you do so. If you'd rather do something more peaceful, visit one of Zermatt's many spas and treat yourself to a massage or a hot tub session. Visit a nearby restaurant to finish off your day and enjoy authentic Swiss cuisine like raclette, fondue, 
or rusty. If you still have the want for adventure, try some regional schnapps or chill with a drink in a cozy bar while taking in the breathtaking mountain views. Second day. We have another trip in store for you if you're not quite ready to leave Zermatt yet. Why not visit the Gorner Gorge for the day, one of Switzerland's best-kept secrets. This natural splendor is only a short bus ride from Zermatt. The Gornera River's raging waves have carved out a deep and narrow crevice known as the Gorge. An exciting experience is walking into the Gorge, where wooden walkways, tunnels, and bridges provide breathtaking views of the river below. The Gorge is an excellent location for bird viewing and is also home to a variety of flora and fauna, including unique lichens and ferns. Return to Zermatt after your day of exploration for some well-earned rest and leisure. Visit one of the town's many outdoor spas or treat yourself to a massage at one of the luxurious wellness facilities. Enjoy some of the world-famous Swiss chocolate before you go. Zermatt is home to some of the top chocolatiers in the nation. Day 6. Montreux The train ride from Zermatt to Montreux, which departs from the lovely Zermatt, promises to be an adventure you won't soon forget. Be ready to be astounded by the spectacular beauty of Switzerland's Valais area as you stare out of the train window. Your destination, Montreux, has been charming poets for years, including Shelley and Byron, with its appeal and beauty. Take a long walk around Montreux's winding streets and the well-known promenade along the lovely shores of Lake Geneva when you arrive and check in. After that, board a boat and travel to the magnificent Chillon Castle. The medieval paintings, gothic dungeons, and fairy tales like towers of this 13th century citadel will leave you mesmerized. Spend some time exploring this majestic castle, which is rich in history and has had a significant impact on Switzerland's past. Take a 30-minute stroll before seeing a special site that is a must-see on every Swiss vacation as you make your way back into town. The one-of-a-kind attraction Queen, the studio experience, pays tribute to the renowned group. Here, you can immerse yourself in the world of Queen and see rare artifacts, pictures, and authentic handwritten lyrics in the building where they made seven albums. You can't help but be a little starstruck when you visit the actual recording studio where lead vocalist Freddie Mercury recorded his final songs. Whether you're a die-hard fan or not, you'll remember this encounter for the rest of your life. Day 7. Geneva Let's make your final day in Switzerland, which you're about to start, a lifetime memory in Geneva. Take the direct train from Montreux to Geneva and travel the charming route through the regions near Lake Geneva. Making your way to the lake's edge through Geneva's old town's twisted medieval alleys is advised if you love history and swimming. Put on your swimsuit and go to Ban de Paqui, a beachside open-air lido with climbing walls and diving boards. Before or after your refreshing swim, this is the ideal place to relax and get a snack. Join City Wheels for a narrated Segway tour if you want to make it an exciting day. After receiving an overview of the transporter's functioning, you may go to the streets and stylishly explore Geneva's well-known attractions and beautiful pearls. Finally, spend some time relaxing at Ariana Park to round off the day. Visit the magnificent conservatory and botanical gardens next door and take pictures at the enormous red broken chair sculpture. Enjoy the peace and quiet of the park as you think about the unforgettable experiences you've had while traveling around Switzerland. And that concludes our journey to seven days in Switzerland. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video. Till then, take care and keep exploring.